Well, good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this uh, Monday morning. It's the 23rd day of October 2023. This is the morning briefing. As I look out the window of the uh, Home Weather Office, uh, about uh, about 20 minutes ago, I couldn't see my neighbor's house, um, which isn't very far away. Uh, but now the fog is beginning to lift a little bit. Pretty foggy after the rain we had yesterday. And I'll tell you, uh, for some areas, that system really overperformed, uh, certainly from what we were thinking back on Friday. Um, in other areas, the rain amounts came in about as expected. But yeah, there were some downpours in there that, uh, that produced more than an inch of rain and uh, with some clogged drains, there was some uh, scattered street flooding here and there. Yeah, that was, that was a good rain. A couple of thunderstorms mixed in, but now the skies have cleared. But you can't tell that if uh, if you're under the fog. And here's the satellite, and you can see that is a ribbon of fog that is up and down the valley and kind of banked up to the foothills, probably up to about, oh, maybe anywhere between uh, 800 feet to 1,500 feet um, in elevations on the foothills. And then you go above that, and you're in nothing but clear sky, and the west side of the valley is also clear. The reason the west side of the valley is clear is we're starting to get a north breeze and that north breeze will increase and as the sun comes up all of this fog will be burning off and it is going to turn into a bright and sunny day. So let's take a look at the big picture and uh, see what's going to happen this week. It's going to be an interesting week, not a, not a calm and quiet week, but uh, it's going to be an interesting week as we'll have a couple of passing weather systems. So here's the system that went by yesterday. And as it clears, we get that north flow that we see during the day today. A uh, bit of a north breeze that will be gusty on the west side of the valley. So in Yolo County, parts of Solano County, and Calusa and Glen County, we will see some winds that will be gusting up to around 25. But uh, but nothing, nothing too bad. Uh, this is into the day on Tuesday. Tuesday should be a nice day. And then on Wednesday, we have this next system. Now, the model's going to go back and forth on where this is going to go. Um, limited moisture with it. But still, this is setting up a nice pattern that we could see some showers in the northern Sierra. And this is going to get cold enough now. It's going to get colder this week. So that as we start getting systems going by, instead of talking about rain, we will be talking about Sierra snow um, from these systems. Now, that one may not do very much for us. This is into the day on Thursday. And then into the day on Friday, Saturday, this system could also bring some snow to the Sierra. Maybe a shower to the valley, but this is a cold pattern. If you look at where this high is up here in the, the Gulf of Alaska, look at the flow. So this is, this is Alaska. And so the flow is coming down this way and then this way and then straight into California. Yeah, so that's a, that's a cold pattern for us. Um, if this was midwinter, if this was a January pattern, we would be talking about things like low snow and that sort of thing. But instead, we're just going to be talking about colder weather as we head into the end of the week and the weekend. Limited moisture, however, with a pattern like that. And that's this is getting into the day on Sunday. Everything right now dries out. But keep in mind that that's a ways out and things can still change. So let's uh, talk about what the models are showing in terms of precipitation. Again, this is just one model run. Um, we'll uh, evaluate this day by day as we go by. This is the Wednesday chance of rain. So here's that system I was showing you that's going to kind of scoot by to the north. There's some rain in the northern part of the state. And then there's that maybe mixture of uh, rain and snow that would go through Lassen and Plumas County. Um, and, you know, maybe a shower for the valley depending on what um, what the model does over the next couple of days. And then this is that passing system on Friday, Saturday. So this is Saturday. Saturday is looking very interesting for the chance of some snow. Now, we're not talking about, you know, snow to close Interstate 80 or chain controls or anything like that, but maybe a few inches of snow. And this is Saturday. And if you do plan on using something like Monitor Pass or um, Ebbets Pass, or Sonora Pass, we may see a temporary closure there, um, depending on you know what happens. But again, this is Saturday. This is a long way out. Things can still change. Just keep that in mind if you're planning on using those passes this weekend, that things can change, and you better just kind of pay attention to the forecast over the next few days. And then this is Sunday. That would be a north wind down in the valley once again. So let's talk about how the temperatures are going to be changing through this week. 
And this is just to kind of show you the trend. This is today with temperatures up around 80. And, and this is based off Sacramento, and this is just a model. Uh, don't get too hung up on an, an individual number. The high might be 78, maybe 79, 82, somewhere in that range. But you notice that Tuesday is a little bit cooler, upper 70s. But then this is Wednesday, this is Thursday, this is Friday. This model calling for daytime highs in the 60s, which is certainly a possibility, and the cooler weather would last into the weekend. So we really have turned a corner here, um, as we always do at this time of year. We had 91 in Sacramento back on Thursday. Yesterday, we had rain with a high of 70, so a 22 degree drop there. And then as we head into this week, the end of this week, we're going to be seeing highs in the 60s. So we always see this kind of drop at this time of year. So that's everything I've got for you this morning. I'll be uh, at the station today and on TV at 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11. Make it a great day. I'll talk with you later.